Hi everyone, my name is Janisha McLeod. I work for Nebraska Extension in the Nutrition Education Program. And today we're going to have a little short video about MyPlate. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen here. All right, so again, my name is Johnny McLeod and I work for Nebraska Extension in the Nutrition Education Program. And today I'm gonna to talk about MyPlate. So why is MyPlate important? MyPlate is a visual guide that helps remind us how our plate should look when we want to have a low balanced diet. There are five sections in MyPlate. There are fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. And we're gonna go over those in a little bit here in detail. But first, we have a little activity break. All right, so this activity is pretty simple. So you either get to choose if you're team peaches or if you're team pineapples. So if you're team pineapples, we're gonna do 30 seconds of arm circles. And if you're team peaches, we're gonna do 30 seconds of leg lifts. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and I will have some music here. So ready, set, go. All right, 30 seconds, guys. All right, just a few more seconds, everybody. All right, good job, everyone. And I'm team by apples by the way. <laughs> All right first we have our fruits. Fruits are amazing foods. They have tons of vitamins and minerals that our bodies need and each and every, each and every one of them is different. So you want to make sure you're getting a variety of those. And also the average person should have about one to two cups of fruits every day. Next we have vegetables. Vegetables, oh they're so important. Vegetables provide us with plenty of nutrients and if you're able to do so, you can try, a, please try a new vegetable when you can. Um, there's tons of vegetables out there. There's cabbage, uh, squash, uh, radish, all those kinds of vegetables. So if you get a chance, go ahead and try some because you never know what you could possibly like. And the average person should have one to three cups of vegetables every day. And I always say, have as many as you can. <laughs> Next we have grains. Now grains are foods made from either wheat, rice, oats, cornmeal, barley, um, and if you can, try to make at least half of your grains 100% whole grain, such as brown rice. But there's tons of different grain products out there, such as breads, pretzel, rice, and all of those you can see from the photo as well. And you can get 100% whole grain products as long as it says so on whatever package that you purchase. And whole grains provides our bodies with fiber, energy, and vitamins and minerals. So you wanna make sure that you're having as many whole grains as possible. Next, we have proteins. Proteins are so important. Proteins are all the foods made from either fish, beans, eggs, meats, nuts, soy, things of that nature. And if you can, um, maybe try to stick to leaner proteins, such as turkey, beans, hummus, and things like that. And proteins are important because they help with building muscles and they help with digestion. Um, and they also help with other parts of the body as well. So they're very important. And make sure that you're uh, at least trying to stick to the leaner proteins if possible. Last but not least, we have dairy. Dairy foods are so important. <laughs> dairy foods include things like milk, cheese, yogurt, cream cheese, um, and they provide us with calcium. And calcium is important because it helps with our teeth and our bones. And the average person should have about two to three cups of dairy products a day. And as you can see from the photo, there's a variety of different things you could choose from. And now we're gonna have another activity break. So let's get up and move here. Again, it'll be just like the last one. So if you are Team Broccoli, If you're team broccoli, you're going to do 30 seconds of squats. 
if you're team carrots, you're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping jacks. And I'm team broccoli, by the way. So I'm gonna be doing some squats. All right, and uh, we'll have some music. So let's get ready, get set, go. Okay. All right, good job, everybody. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you want more information or more recipes, you can go ahead and check out our website at food.unl.edu. If you have any questions and would like to contact me directly, my email address is jmcleod2unl.edu. And also like us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash UNL Nutrition Education Program. Thank you. Thanks again.